Good day guys, nice to have you here. We're back on the original server and we will have the usual dose of tips, tricks, and strategies that are all guaranteed to help you win more ranked games. Let's talk about the draft first. Argus was picked in this game since the enemy team picked Saber and Odette early. For some reason, their third pick was Layla and the moment they did, that's when we decided to go with Argus. Argus ultimate can turn both Saber and Odette's ultimates useless and as for Layla, well, she's easy picking for Argus due to her poor mobility and low survivability. Keep in mind that the game begins as early as the draft phase. That means you have to start thinking as soon as the draft begins and strategize on what to pick in order to counter the enemies. Don't waste your time doing nothing during the draft. If you want to win more games, take the draft seriously and try your best to pick a hero the enemies will have trouble dealing with. It also helps if you are familiar with how the other heroes work. In that game, Argus was given the emblem talent, high and dry with stats focused on physical attack and penetration in order to gain a tremendous advantage in damage output during the laning phase. The item build will be discussed as we go through the game so make sure to stay tuned. In that game, we decided to cut the lane in order to gain advantage in level quickly. Under normal conditions, we wouldn't cut the lane at all with Argus since he is significantly weaker than most heroes during the laning phase. However, the enemy picked Fovius who is not a very threatening hero during the laning phase since his ability to duel one-on-one -on -one is not very remarkable due to the low damage of his first skill against a single target. In order to have more advantage in damage output, we got Dagger first. After clearing the enemy minions, we rushed towards Fovius before he cleared the minions completely. The goal is to reach him before he reaches level 2, that way, Argus would have advantage in level which would allow him to defeat Fovius easily. The huge mistake of the Fovius player is he got distracted and failed to kill the minion wagon. Instead of duking out against Argus, he should have just killed the last remaining minion and then went back to his turret. He probably would have done that if he was aware of how much advantage Argus had against him during the laning phase and he probably would have been aware of that if he read more. After getting the regular spear, we decided to go with swift boots since Argus needs movement speed in order to keep the gap from the enemy short whenever he is chasing them down. It's also a cheap source of attack speed. We took advantage of the fact that Fovius decided to go to the mid lane and cleared the minions on the top lane quickly. Doing so allowed us to earn some gold by attacking the enemy turret shield, however, it didn't take the enemies long to realize that Argus was alone on the top lane so we had to back off a little. Remember to check the minimap as frequently as possible, doing so will help you make better decisions. I am Ultimus the Deal. All I am surrounded by is fear. For some reason, Fovius yet again decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Argus. Sure, Fovius is a pretty good hero in team fights, but in duels, not really, especially if it's against Argus, one of the best duelists in the game. What Fovius should be doing is taking advantage of his second skill's range and just try his best to farm by using that and his first skill. Of course that's easier said than done considering that Argus has a gaping advantage over Fovius 9 times out of 10, but that's better than going toe to toe with Argus which Fovius will never win. Know when to play aggressively, and know when to play defensively. And as I said earlier, you would only know what decision to make if you are familiar with Hero's abilities. Keep reading. There is no comfort. Layla has pretty good damage output for a late game marksman, so let us try to be more careful and strike from the shadows. Remember, the element of surprise is a good weapon to have in order to have advantage in duels. If we just stayed visible on the lane, Layla would just keep attacking us. And once there is an opportunity, use Argus skill combo. My favorite combo sequence is first skill plus basic attack plus second skill. While the slow effect of Argus second skill is an effect, deal more damage by using his basic attacks and as soon as his prey steps outside of his basic attacks range use his first skill's second phase in order to close the gap 
Doing so will allow Argus to deal as much damage as possible and get his Rage Bar charged thanks to his second skill's bleeding damage. Be careful though, the problem with Argus is he is a very squishy hero despite being a fighter. Try to keep Argus away from the enemy's vision especially when his ultimate is not available. Utilize bushes to your advantage and check the minimap as frequently as possible to help you decide when is the best time to recall back to base. When I live, I was up to live. Now we took advantage of Argus low HP. At that point, the Layla players thought that Argus already recalled back to base, not knowing that he was waiting in the shadows. Normally, I would join team fights in that situation, however, they were so far away that by the time we got there, the clash would have already ended, so instead of joining, we decided to clear the minions instead. Since our jungler was dead, Saber had a chance to take the turtle. To prevent him from taking it, we roamed around the area in order to reveal his position, thus discouraging him from taking the turtle. One of the best ways of killing an enemy when playing Argus is to wait for them to get closer to your turret then use his first skill to pull them further in. Doing so will force them to run thus triggering your second skill's bleeding damage. If they do decide to attack Argus, the turret's aggro will be triggered and it will start attacking them instead of the minions. Since Saber also made the same mistake Layla did, we took advantage of that as well. After that, we got Corrosion Scythe. Corrosion Scythe is an all-in-one item for heroes like Argus. It gives a decent amount of damage, attack speed, slows the target's movement, and boosts the user's movement. It is also significantly affordable making it easy to build. Since Argus Ultimate became available again, we decided to stay on the lane hidden in bushes instead of wasting time recalling. After all, seeing a hero with low HP can be tempting for a lot of players which can help you get easy kills if Argus Ultimate is available. Also, Bashia was hiding in the bush anyway, him being there gives us wider vision which allows us to see in case some of the enemies decide to gank from this area. Remember, Argus Ultimate has a 4 second duration only, at that moment, we only had about 2 seconds left and some of the enemies already respawned. We could have still killed Layla, but it was a risky move. Keep in mind, in that game Argus was performing well which then increased his net worth tremendously, in case you are not aware, if a hero is performing well, killing that hero will also greatly reward the killer so try your best to not die as much as possible especially if you have a high net worth. While it's true that Fovius had zero chance of escaping from Argus because of his excellent mobility and slowing effect, if Fovius ran away, he would have been able to buy more time for his allies to provide assistance to him. If he did that, he would have either survived, or Argus might have been at risk of dying. At that moment in the game, we went ahead and got Demon Hunter Sword which is an essential item for Argus attack speed, damage output, and lifesteal. Shortly after, we got Berserker's Fury in order to greatly improve his critical damage. We would have purchased Scarlet Phantom and Blade of Despair, but the game ended before we got the chance. Scarlet Phantom works very well with Berserker's Fury in triggering more critical strikes and also greatly improving attack speed, while Blade of Despair for its tremendous damage. When I 
left and you were my response to alert. Now I am the master. That concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. Do you have any recommendations applicable in that game that we might have missed? Leave your thoughts on the comment section below, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.